Hi everyone, I'm Ali Mew, and we're going to learn how to hook up the Triton 720 Plus to the Elgato Game Capture HD for the Xbox 360. What is Elgato Game Capture HD? Elgato Game Capture HD enables you to record PlayStation, Xbox, or even Wii gameplay to a Mac or PC. Forget to press the record button? There's an awesome unique flashback recording feature when that happens. The new update for the Elgato Game Capture HD software makes commentating and streaming easy. The first step is setting up the Elgato Game Capture HD. Let's start with setting up the Elgato Game Capture HD device. And here we are going to need the power cable, USB, and the extra HDMI cable that comes with it. Here's the Elgato Game Capture HD device, and there are two sides where you're going to be plugging in cables. Let's start off with the HDMI in. Now plug in the HDMI cable. With the other side, plug it into the 360. With your second HDMI cable, plug it on the other side. With the other end, plug it into the TV. The last step is to plug in the USB power cable and also plug it into your computer. Next is setting up the Triton 720 Plus. For the Triton's headset, make sure you have the Triton's audio device, the power cable, the Xbox chat cable, and this one in particular is for the ones that have the texting pad. And if you guys don't have the texting pad, this is the cable that you want to plug in. And this is an adapter for anybody who has the old Xbox that needs the optical cable that the Tritons require. And of course have your headset. And let's not forget about the most important cable of all, which is the optical cable. Let's begin by plugging in the headset cable into the Triton device. On the back of the Triton device, there's an optical cable outlet and plug your optical cable in there and don't forget to plug the other side into the Xbox 360. If you don't have an optical cable outlet, please use the adapter. Some cases with older 360s, you may have to buy a component splitter in order to use the adapter as well. Next step is to plug in the power cable into the Triton audio device. For a source of power, plug it into any USB port on the 360. Now with your Xbox on, turn on your Triton audio device. To talk to friends, plug in the chat cable. If you don't have a chat pad, this is the adapter you should use on your controller. Elgato Game Capture HD Recording Setup I'm going to show you guys my setup really quickly. So I have my Tritons on to listen to the game music and also communicate to my friends. And I have a second mic. So here's my second microphone. You guys don't have to have anything as fancy as this. You can even use your built-in microphone. Um, and this is used for your live commentaries. Here's my controller and I have the chat cable plugged in so I can actually talk to my friends. And of course I have my HD TV on so I can actually play the game and don't have the latency between the TV and to your computer. The next step is using the Elgato Game Capture HD program. Here we are at the Elgato Game Capture HD program, which actually makes everything so much simpler from live commentary to live streaming on Twitch. First off, let's turn on our Xbox 360. I'm turning it on. And don't forget to click on settings. You can either click over here or over here to adjust it. Uh, right now it's set on the PlayStation 3. I'm going to move it to the Xbox 360 and then make sure it's on HDMI and if you want you can actually bump down the resolution to 720 if you want to record in a lower amount of um, memory space because the, the 1080 actually takes up more space. Since I have that uh, storage I'm going to use the 1080 and click OK. And then for commentating, you're going to make sure you're turning on your mic. Now before we turn on the mic, let's make sure we pick the right microphone. Here is my AT2020, but right now I'm going to use my built-in microphone to commentate. So I'm going to click here. And to enable your microphone to be on, you're going to have to click on this. And when you see the green light and also seeing the level of volume, you know that your mic is on. Don't forget to do that. And for the game audio, you can adjust it to be lower or higher. 
uh, just to balance off with your voice. And generally, some people actually like to do is um, turn on the automatically reduce the game volume. So whenever you speak, the game volume actually goes back lower. Now, as a tip for girls who are using this, you might want to turn down the audio because a uh, higher pitch frequency tends to pick up more, so I actually have to dial it down. And with the game audio, you can actually turn it up or down depending what you guys like. I would suggest you guys to try it out and play with a good mix and balance and you'll find something that you like. Now let's try doing a commentary right now. So let's do a commentary and I'm going to title it Minecraft Sword and the game is Minecraft. And if you guys want to put a description and tags, you guys can actually share this to YouTube. I tend not to do it because I need to edit it down. So let's continue to recording. Now don't forget, when you're recording, you want want to mute your computer or mute this software so you don't hear a double echo. Hear now, a I can double unecho echo. it, but you can, can hear it. it but you can exactly. Hear it. So I'm going to mute it. You don't want that happening. And when you click this big red button, that means you're recording and commentating. And I don't have a sword. I'm going to probably spawn one in right now. Let's have a diamond sword. Here you go. Chomp, chomp, chomp and then we're done. By clicking the button again, now it's off and it should be in your edit section. Great, it's right over here. You can actually listen to it. And I can play it right now. And commentating. And I don't have a sword. I'm gonna probably spawn one in right now. Let's have a diamond sword. Here you go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And commentating. So, um, pardon the lagginess right now because I'm actually recording it with the desktop recorder and I will include the raw image right now so you can see how smooth the frame rates are really. Recording and commentating. And I don't have a sword, I'm gonna probably spawn one in right now. Let's have a diamond sword. Here you go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. All right. And if you guys wanted to edit anything, you can actually quickly chop it in half, delete something, or if, like, let's just say I didn't like the beginning, I'm going to get rid of this. All I have to do is cut, cut, and then delete, and here you go. You have the middle part deleted. And if you wanted to take a picture, you can quickly, like, oh, click on it and it'll be taking a picture. That's pretty simple. Uh, this is just a simple edit. If you guys need anything more complicated, you're going to need like a software like Final Cut Pro or Sony Vegas on the PC slash Mac. Um, and of course here are all the mediums that you can share your footage with. But let's get back on track to live streaming on Twitch. So live streaming on Twitch isn't any different from uh, commentating except we're going to have to sign into your account, which I've signed into here. If you guys want to add an account, all I do is plus, which is add account, and sign into your Twitch. If you don't have one, register for one, and it's pretty cool. Um, right now, I am not live. I usually have my um, the website of Twitch open and on my dashboard, so I know what's happening, and I can actually communicate to anybody who's watching me. So. In order to enable it, all you have to do is just click this little button. If you wanted to pick a place that's closer to you, I could just click uh, US East New York, New York. And I usually leave it as automatic. It's going to detect it anyway. And then for your status, I, I'm going to name it Minecraft. That's pretty much it. And if you want your bit rate to be higher, if you have really good connection, you can bump it up high. Right now, I am on 420. 20, uh, oh, 480p and you can actually switch it um, also depending how fast your internet connection I just do it at 480p because I feel that's safer um, and you can seriously trial and error if you guys just try out different settings you guys will find the medium you like which I had to find after a very long time so let's click the button turn it on and it is starting up and let's have our other screen open so you can see it happening. 
and automatically here you go you can see it. I'm usually and automatically here you go mute it because you're gonna hear an echo as usual and um, sometimes the titles don't um, update but sometimes you can just refresh and it might say Minecraft the game you're gonna have to redo which I do here I'm gonna put Minecraft and it pops up and then you update it and everything's good I currently have one other person watching me and hopefully they know I'm doing a tutorial I can say hi and uh, what's really great about this is um, while you're playing the game off of your TV you can actually talk to people and look back at the chat at the same time and Elgato Game Capture HD has made this very simple I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys have fun making your own commentaries and live stream on Twitch I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to comment below and if you guys want to learn more about Elgato Game Capture HD, visit GameCapture.com.